Hi, welcome to First Chapter Friday. My name is Lucy, and the book that I am going to be reading the first chapter from today is by one of my favorite authors, Kate DiCamillo, and the book is called Flora and Ulysses, The Illuminated Adventures. Flora Bell Buckman, at the beginning of this book, is looking out of her window when she witnesses her neighbor sucking up a squirrel into a vacuum, the Ulysses Super Suction Vacuum. And Flora's neighbor, Mrs. Tickman, is not aware that she is about to run over this squirrel. She does, and she vacuums him up. Flora runs out and rescues him by administering CPR, and thus begin the adventures of Flora and Ulysses. Ulysses is what Flora names the squirrel. He turns out to be quite a squirrel. He's a flying, poetry writing, food loving, superhero of a squirrel. Flora presumes he's a superhero because right after he gets rescued from her, he lifts up the entire vacuum to see what kind of food might come out. Flora's also heavily influenced by comics that she reads. One in particular that she used to read with her father is called The Amazing Incandesto. So superheroes are on her mind. Flora's parents have split up and she lives with her mother who essentially ignores her, just types away on her typewriter all day. The breakup of her parents has made Flora a cynic. That's what she calls herself. In addition to Flora and Ulysses, there's some other great characters in this book, one of whom is a boy who moves in next door with Mrs. Tickham. And he is her great nephew. His name is William Spiver. He doesn't like to be called anything but that. Not William, not Billy, just William Spiver. And he is temporarily blind, he tells her when he moves in. So we find out a little bit more about William's story and we learn that he has also had sort of a letdown from his parents and the two of them become friends. And so William Spiber also joins in on the adventures of Flora and Ulysses. I could go on and on about why I love this book and why I love Kate Camillo, but I think that I will read you the first chapter of it since that's what we're here to do. And the book actually begins with some pages of a graphic novel that says in the Tickham kitchen late on a summer afternoon. And that is when we see Mr. Tickham give Mrs. Tickham the Ulysses super suction vacuum cleaner, which is too strong to use inside. So she heads outside and it says that is how it all began. So chapter one, a natural born cynic. Flora Bell Buckman was in her room at her desk. She was very busy doing two things at once. She was ignoring her mother, and she was also reading a comic book entitled The Illuminated Adventures of the Amazing Incandesto. Flora, her mother shouted, what are you doing up there? I'm reading, Flora shouted back. Remember the contract, her mother shouted. Do not forget the contract. At the beginning of summer, in a moment of weakness, Flora had made the mistake of signing a contract that said she would, quote, work to turn her face away from the idiotic hijinks of comics and toward the brighter light of true literature, end quote. Those were the exact words of the contract. They were her mother's words. Flora's mother was a writer. She was divorced and she wrote romance novels. Talk about idiotic hijinks. Flora hated romance novels. In fact, she hated romance. I hate romance, Flora said out loud to herself. She liked the way the words sounded. She imagined them floating above her in a comic strip bubble. It was comforting to have things like words hanging over her head, especially negative words about romance. Flora's mother had often accused Flora of being a, quote, natural born cynic, end quote. Flora suspected that this was true. She was a natural born cynic who lived in defiance of contracts. Yep thought Flora, that's me. She bent her head and went back to reading about the amazing incandesto. She was interrupted a few minutes later by a very loud noise. It sounded as if a jet plane had landed in the Tickham's backyard. What the heck, said Flora. She got up from her desk and looked out the window and saw Mrs. Tickham running around the backyard with a shiny, oversized vacuum cleaner. It looked like she was vacuuming the yard. That can't be be, thought Flora, who vacuums their yard? Actually, it didn't look like Mrs. Tickham knew what she was doing. It was more like the vacuum cleaner was in charge and the vacuum cleaner seemed to be out of its mind or its engine or something. A few bolts shy of a load, said Flora out loud. And then she saw that Mrs. Tickham and the vacuum cleaner were headed directly for a squirrel. 
Hey now, said Flora. She banged on the window. Watch out, she shouted. You're going to vacuum up that squirrel. She said the words, and then she had a strange moment of seeing them hanging there over her head. You're going to vacuum up that squirrel. There's just no predicting what kind of sentences you might say, thought Flora. For instance, who would ever think you would shout, you're going to vacuum up that squirrel? It didn't make any difference, though, what words she said. Flora was too far away, the vacuum cleaner was too loud, and also, clearly, it was bent on destruction. This malfeasance must be stopped, said Flora in a deep and super heroic voice. This malfeasance must be stopped is what the unassuming janitor Alfred T. Slipper always said before he was transformed into the amazing incandasto and became a towering crime-fighting pillar of light. Unfortunately, Alfred T. Slipper wasn't present. Where was incandesto when you needed him? Not that Flora really believed in superheroes, but still. She stood at the window and watched as the squirrel was vacuumed up. Poof! Thwomp. Holy bagumba, said Flora. That is the end of chapter one. Kate Camilla has a way of writing emotional books that are focused on larger life issues, for instance, divorce and some acceptance of being different, overcoming fears. But she also adds a lot of warmth to that and humor. As you can hear in that first chapter, Flora, just the way she thinks and talks is funny. And she loves using words like holy bagumba, malfeasance. And in this way, Kate DeCamillo has done what she always does, which is sort of open your heart up. I would recommend that you read any of Kate DeCamillo's books. In my opinion, they're all wonderful. Flora and Ulysses is a great place to start. It's a lot of fun and it will make you really root for the kids and the squirrel in this book. Thank you for joining me.